Kelly Hoffman is one of Britain's leading interior designers. Kelly's got a really unique style. It's very simple but very tasteful. I'd love to get myself a Kelly Hoppen house. She is a phenomenon. Kelly has been designing interiors for over 30 years, and in that time she's successfully created stylish homes and businesses for some of the most glamorous and demanding people. When I design a room, I really want it to reflect the personality of the people living in it. Good taste is a room you feel comfortable in. But now, she wants to use her expertise to fix bad taste and design disasters all across the UK. Not everyone has taste, that's for sure. But I want to show people that good design can be achieved with a very small budget. And when you get it right, it can actually improve your life. Tonight, Kelly battles to mend a woman's broken heart by rebuilding her ramshackle kitchen. What I like, I can never have. What he likes, that's it. I have been in this business for many, many years. If you're told it's happening Monday, it happens Friday. I'm pissed off and fed up. They've had three years to argue about this. They need to make a decision. Danielle! Get out! I think it's going to be a bit of a roller coaster, this job. Kelly Hoppen's mission is to tackle bad taste and improve interiors all over the world. I want to change the way we live today with some simple golden rules anyone can use. When Kelly creates a room, she thinks as much about the people who live there as the look they want to achieve. This week, she's taking on a kitchen catastrophe in Chigwell, Essex. I love designing kitchens. It's one of the most important parts of a home, and it's one place that you can really show off and do something spectacular. The Applebaum family's kitchen is about as far from spectacular as you can get. There's broken floor tiles, loose wires, and a rather minimalist style of lighting. We've been trying to get this kitchen done for about the last three years. But now we're getting on with it and we're looking forward to getting our new kitchen. Keep my wife happy. Mum Hannah is desperate for her dream kitchen, but husband John, who owns a driveway construction company, doesn't have quite the same sense of urgency. As my husband always say, she can still cook in this kitchen. That's right, the meal still tastes as nice, <laughs> whether I've spent £100,000 on a kitchen or I've spent 2000 And Hannah's 20-something daughters must agree, because all three still live at home. We get cooked for, all of our washing is done. Our cleaning. Oh, we sound like such princesses. Oh, you are. <laughs> you are. Let's hope it's easier to get rid of the old kitchen than it is those girls. Before designing any kitchen, Kelly has a few golden rules that she never breaks. Kitchen is one of the most expensive places in a home, so when you're choosing your floor tiles, your worktops and your appliances, you've got to be really careful that you choose the right ones and the right colours, otherwise you're going to waste a huge amount of money. And obviously you need good project managers and you need very good builders, otherwise you're going to be let down. Apple bombs are out this morning, so Kelly's got a chance to have a sneaky peek at the design challenge she'll be dealing with. Do you know the one great thing about this house, I haven't been inside yet, is it's a massive door, and that's always a good sign because it means you've got something amazing to open up and go in and see what's inside. So let's have a look. I cannot believe this kitchen. Look at this floor. I mean, it's so unhygienic besides anything else that somebody's been cooking in here. I mean, I would just be so depressed. You've got a light switch here with tape over it, but actually, when you look over there, there isn't even a light over the table where they eat the whole time. The upper balms have knocked down the partition wall to create a spacious eating area. But instead of a stylish dining table, there's two ugly brown sofas that are fit for a skip. 
This kind of shows me that people have just stopped living. I want to know what's gone wrong and how we can put it right now. Kelly always gets to know her clients before starting work. Hello. How Hello. Are how are you? Nice to meet you. You too. I want to know how you've lived in a house undone like this. You don't even have a light bulb over the table. It's no, hard. I stand no. up on a chair and no. put it on. Careful. Oh, be careful. Come on. And this is my light. Be careful the marble on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and light it is. How can you have lived like this and not even put some lighting in? Surely it's been really depressing living like this. I was depressed anyway. <laughs> Why? I came. Today is three years that my dad died. And, uh, and it didn't really... It didn't matter. It didn't matter. But... You know, it's time to move on now, I think, and I'm sick of it. But, you know, that, that's, you know, you're grieving and it's a horrible thing. I've been through it myself. My father died when I was younger. And I know you kind of just don't want to deal with those things. They're not important. They're not. But, you know, you know it would be kind of important. It makes it all the more special for me to be here now, actually. Before starting her design solution, Kelly needs to build a mental picture of the kind of kitchen Hannah's been dreaming about. And what sort of style do you want this? I leave that to the ladies of the house. You sure? Okay. I'm very yes. sure. Yes, this is my kitchen. I don't have any It's set. my kitchen. I bet you will. <laughs> I've tried already, but I don't seem to be I've getting away. I've got a feeling you're going to be saying something. It's my kitchen. I want my units to be white. Good, because you know white. And I don't want it shiny neutral. either. <laughs> you don't want shiny. No. Okay. Well, and I want natural people. stone worktop. I thought you didn't care, and it was all her choice. It's her choice, but, but she did say. <laughs> She did say that I could choose the work All right, OK. To create Hannah's perfect kitchen, John has budgeted £75,000 and the project is scheduled to take just five weeks. Instead of using Kelly's approved team of high-quality builders, John has ignored her advice and is insisting on using cheaper firm BM Construction Havering Limited. I know my builders work well. I know they'll get it on time. They've worked with me before. I'm not convinced that your builder can do it, but I hope I'm wrong. I've got confidence. He's done quite a bit of other work for me. But looking around your home and the fact that you've lived all these years with things unfinished, I have to say, I don't feel confident. Now that I've met Hannah, I'm even more keen to remedy her kitchen. She's been through so much traumatic, heartfelt sorrow. And I think, you know, once we do this kitchen, it's going to, you know, move her on into a much happier time, for sure. I think the one worry I have is the fact I'm not using my own builders. I'm just praying that their builders are going to be on time and it's going to work. I really hope so. Coming up, Kelly unlocks her style secrets to a contemporary kitchen. Tiles for me on the floor, the bigger the better. And John resorts to extreme measures to cut costs. My two daughters are going to be the project manageresses. Wow. Back at her London studio, Kelly talks to her design team about some radical structural ideas for Hannah Applebaum's long-awaited dream kitchen. I've just come back from the Applebaum's. It's a complete disaster there. They've got holes in the ceiling. She has to stand on the table to put a light bulb in. I mean, it's just awful. So I just want to talk through what we're going to do there because there's actually a hell of a lot of work to be done. So where the window is now, we'll put big double doors. And I think the main focal point is going to be this massive worktop unit in the centre of the kitchen to elongate it so that when you sit down this end and have your breakfast, you're literally literally looking straight out into the garden now with the double doors and it's going to look magnificent. So you've got all white and then a green lawn. It'll look fantastic. The important thing is that they want a white kitchen. I love white kitchens, but it's a very big expanse. So the floor is actually the most key thing in here because they've got to have a different texture and a different colour. But I want to give her a space which is calming. She's been through so much tragedy and I think all of these colours are just so nice and harmonious. It will be like a real haven for her. I can't wait because I just want to make this fantastic for her. Leaving her team hard at work on the concept, 
The next step in Kelly's design process is to show the Applebaums an inspirational kitchen and share some of her style secrets. One of the first things that you have to do when you're designing a kitchen, it's obviously got to be practical, which is not something that I am very often. <laughs> Kelly's first rule for kitchen design is to always combine style with practicality. Having the fridge, hob and sink in this triangle formation is the ideal layout, as it's easy to move between them. The thing about good design is always a mixture of textures, so it's what we put with your kitchen. So it's, you know, the fabric that's going on the bar stools, it's the dining room table, it's yeah. the chairs. So we've got to look at all the combinations that are going together, because remember, a kitchen is a very hard surface, it's yeah. hard textures, so we need to have other elements that are going to soften it a bit. When it comes to floor tiles, size matters. Tiles for me on the floor, the bigger the better, for sure. Right. Small tiles, what happens is you just see lots of tiles because all of the grout. So you okay. want less grout and you want it more linear. It's really important that okay. that okay. And when you go into a stone merchant, they will always have the smaller tiles, which will be less money. But if we can negotiate with them to get the bigger tile in the colour that you want, I think that would be key. The bigger ones are more expensive, aren't they? They can be. It depends on right. the stone. Okay. Even though his wife has been cooking in a building site for three years, John still seems to be thinking about the cost. What I'll do next is come back with all the designs, okay. show them to you with all the different finishes, then we can kind of decide. It'll look fantastic. After her initial meeting with the Applebaums, Kelly heads back to their Chigwell home, armed with her unique concept for Hannah's long-awaited kitchen. She was saying to me that she felt she didn't have the energy to do up her home because she was grieving her father's death. In my mind, if I'd been her husband, I would have actually kind of taken control and done something about it. But we'll see now, because, you know, now I'm going to present the thing to him, and I'm sure that money is going to be an issue and he's going to want everything sort of, you know, for a good price. Feeling a bit nervous? A bit nervous? Bit. Yeah. Excited? Yeah, well, I'm actually very excited. Right. So let's have a look at the plans. Yes. Kelly's master plan for rebuilding Hannah's kitchen has been designed around the family's needs. The old kitchen units will be replaced with one main wall of cupboards, which will open up the room while providing plenty of storage. To maximise the natural light, Kelly wants to replace the kitchen window with patio doors that will mirror those in the new dining space. And instead of the old brown sofas, she's chosen a stylish dining table to seat 12 people. But to give the room that extra wow factor, Kelly has designed a five-metre-long rectangular central island, complete with family-sized breakfast bar. Is there any yeah. shape in this island at all? Absolutely not. It shouldn't have a shape, no? no? Absolutely not. Right, OK. I think it would just look really naff. I think it's better to have it straight. This is an incredible shape. What we want to do is give it length. Fine. If you then go and do this whole thing and have curves and whatever, I think it looks right. like you're trying too hard. Kelly's layout has got the apple balm stamp of approval, so she moves on to the design nitty-gritty. So this is a matte white unit. Yeah. White is a very harsh colour, but it's a great colour for kitchens yeah. because it's so neutral. Yeah. It's actually one of my favourites. Kelly has pulled together contrasting textures for this kitchen dining space, including a glass splashback, sheer curtains and linen-style wallpaper. But for the vast expanse of worktop, she's bought a choice of materials. We can't actually have what you want, which is right, real okay, stone. That's not a problem. Purely because I... of <clears throat> hygienic. Fine, yeah. okay. okay. This right. is like a kind of uh, Italian marbled type stone, which I actually really like because the background is white, but it's kind of got these taupe flecks in it. This will give it the wow like factor. This, this is like a granite, but it's got a slice of thick glass on yeah. the top, so it kind of makes it more dramatic. I don't like this. Well, that's Sorry. Because you really need a mortgage for that. This is what I think the colour of the floor should be, because it's a very lovely taupe. It's called a scarlet blue, and it's a really neutral, very, very nice colour, and it looks brilliant with white. What I would like is, if possible, is a choice 
of uh, floor coverage. Okay, that's not. I'm a happy problem. with this. But you know, let's look at others. And look you at can others see. because yeah, again. I don't want to look anymore. I've looked. Yeah, again, yeah, just a second. Just he a second. He wants you to take another three I years. I want you to yeah. have a. Well, if she wants to take four years, <laughs> I've got a problem with that. Because afterwards, once it's all done, she'll say, oh, I wish we would have no, chosen no, you that see, stone. You know, now, trying, now you can see. You know, what I like, I can never have. What he likes, you know, that's it. The floor has to be laid before the rest of the kitchen can go in, so Kelly leaves the apple balms with one simple task, to order the tiles before the old kitchen is ripped out. Getting the floor tiles ordered now is absolutely essential because if they're late, it delays the entire project and can cost them more money. They've had three years to argue about this. They need to make a decision. It's the first day of the Apple Balm's five-week schedule. John's cheaper building firm is getting stuck in. But the expensive floor tiles still haven't been ordered. However, John has made one very important money-saving decision. Hello, Kelly. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Daniel and Natasha. My two daughters, they are going to be the... Project. Project Manageresses. Wow. Have they ever done this before? Yes. Yes. Doing what? In an interior design in the house. Oh, OK. So what, you've given them... A time scale, because the timing is the key thing as well. Kelly, we've created the time scale. Both of us have done this before, so we're feeling quite confident. And I think you should feel confident in us. All I would like to have from you in the next couple of days is... Make sure that all the lead times are right, and then let's just get the floor, because that will hold up everything else. Kelly wanted John to employ a professional project manager for this complex job. Bye. But instead, bye, bye, bye. he's placed his trust in his daughters. It's actually quite amusing listening to the girls saying they've done this before, considering I've been doing it for a zillion years. If they can pull it off, I am over the moon. But I can tell you that there's going to be problems, things are not going to arrive. So I just don't want this to turn into a circus. I just want Hannah to have her dream kitchen. I'm going to keep an eye on them, but I think it's going to be a bit of a roller coaster, this job. Definitely. In spite of Kelly's serious reservations, the new project managers get cracking. I'm just really interested in ordering some of your ivory paint. Yes, please. But one hour into her new role, the stress of project managing starts to take its toll on John's youngest daughter, Danielle. Can you explain what he's doing, please? Yeah, he's doing the shelves. We've got a few problems with the project manager. Danielle! The project manager's in a funny mood today. She's the project manager. She should be down here. She chose to be the project manager. Never mind protecting your daughters every minute. I want her down here. Otherwise, she'll have to go and find somewhere else to live. Get out! Sport brand. It's one week into the Apple Balm schedule, and the project managers seem to have settled into their new role. Hannah's kitchen has now been gutted. The bespoke units are being built, and John has finally put an order in for the floor tiles. Today, Kelly has invited the project managers to her studio to check they're following her designs to the letter, but she's in for a shock. We're feeling um, quite confident today because we've got everything under control. It's just really a chance for us to be able to discuss a few last-minute details. And also, mainly, we want to show her the new floor we've chosen. These stones are a nightmare to walk on in the heels. Oh. These stones aren't very heel-friendly. No, they're not. They're not Jimmy-proof. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Good, then. So the schedule now? Floor arrives Wednesday. 
next Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday week. We went for the cheaper one of what you wanted us this to get. This is what we wanted. That was what you wanted, but it just came out. How much did it come out? It was far too... This, I hope you didn't get that, because that's the wrong colour. It's very, yeah, very yellow. I don't need to take it away. Then... I know what I'm talking about with colour. This is very yellow. This is a taupe colour. Everything that we've ordered has been based on this. And when you project manage something, not to call me and tell me that you've changed it, there's always a telephone call away. I could have tried to have got it at a better price. Once again, John has gone against Kelly's expert advice. OK, so now that we're stuck with a different floor towel, we yeah. have to remedy the worktops. If one could go for a white top, we're not going to have a bit of a conflict here. Any other changes that you make, please, please call me, because I am taking this to my heart. I want it to be All right. The girls tell their dad that Kelly's upset about the floor tile mistake. Yeah, listen. No, but Dad, please. St yeah, I understand what you're saying, but, you know, it's not a big deal. If we don't go... If we end up having to go for a white kitchen stone, it's not a big deal. Yeah, listen. I think I've just no, got to keep a really close eye on them because yeah, they just keep changing everything that we've signed off, and that's kind of like number one rule for disaster. You sign things off, you know what you want, and now I can see why for three years they haven't had a kitchen. Bottom line is it is her design, and she, her stamp has to go on it, so, of course, she's going to have her say in everything. But, you know, with... We will get round it. Coming up, Kelly teaches the project managers a valuable lesson. I have been in this business for many, many years, and I can tell you now, if you're told it's happening Monday, it happens Friday. And John pays the price for not using Kelly's builders. I'm pissed off and fed up. I love my old kitchen bag. Give it back to me with my broken ceiling. It's ten days into the Apple Barm's five-week schedule, and after the tile debacle, Kelly has come back to their Chigwell home to check up on John's daughters, who are project managing the build. All right, where are the hard hats? Um... I'm kidding. <laughs> but as soon as Kelly walks in, she's shocked at just how little the site has progressed. There is a hell of a lot to do. I know. We know. By now, if this was my project, I'd have the electrics all finished, the plumbing all finished, and I'd have some of the units in and the floors down. What is the actual schedule as from tomorrow? Okay, so Wednesday, they'll prepare the floor and the tiles arrive. Thursday, they're laying the floor. That should take four days. No, a week. I was going to say. No, four it's days. It's not four so days to no, do four this. No, four days probably. If he has to work at night, he will. But I'm just a bit concerned. There's a lot of work to be done to underneath, you I know, to put that. floor down. Yes, it's got to be know. level, it's yeah. got to be screened. Yeah. You want to make sure that all the plumbing's in the right place and everything. Well, all of this should be covered. Have some bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. so yeah. I am just concerned. Here. I want Don't Mum worry. to have her Leave kitchen. The kitchen will be here, but what's I've that? been in this business for many, many years, and I can tell you now, if you're told it's happening Monday, it happens Friday. I promise you. So whatever date you've been given, imagine they're not telling the truth. Kelly believes that leaving no contingency time at all is a schoolgirl error on the girls' part. If this was my building girl. site, I'd be kicking ass, I can tell you. Oh. They think, I think, the best in what's going to happen, and I'm not so sure it is. I think they're going to get let down. I, I do. The floor tiles are being imported from Portugal, but without them, the rest of the kitchen can't be fitted. So Kelly insists John chase up the stonemason immediately. Can you get him on the phone now? You know, ask him the truth. When is it actually leaving? Is yeah. there going to be problems getting it through? There, there's so many things that yeah. can go wrong, let and me, then you're going to have a backup. Kelly's just asked me what day is the stone coming in. I just want to reconfirm, reconfirm, reconfirm with you, yeah? Yes, we are loading tomorrow in Portugal afternoon. Right. It should be in the UK on Tuesday, so on Wednesday next week it should be in your front door. Right. Can you guarantee me that? <laughs> no. You can't? <laughs> Whenever you go on a building site, there's always that anxiousness. You always want it to be more finished and it's not. But, I mean, I walked in there, there's not a builder on site. 
And it just seems that the girls are not taking it as seriously as they should. But I want them to understand that if they don't go and chase these things, it is not going to get done. Having told the project managers to sort the tiles out now, Kelly leaves them to it. No. Kelly has no faith. I think she'll be pleasantly surprised. It's now nearly halfway through the Apple Balm's five-week kitchen project. Although a large portion of their £75,000 budget has now been spent, there are still lots of the smaller accessories to buy, and John's concerned about the cost of the curtains Kelly has recommended. So today she's letting Hannah in on one of her design secrets, a little-known fabric shop where she's hoping to find some curtains to suit Hannah's taste and John's pocket. So here's my little treasure trove. Wow, it's like going back in time. Isn't it's it amazing? amazing. All these wonderful Hungarian fabrics oh, and old lace. And I oh, found wow. here, I... I think, the solution for the curtains. And hopefully you'll love them. So if you look at the way the light comes through it oh, like yeah. that. Stunning, okay. isn't it? Yeah. I wanted to dress the window, but not necessarily having something really heavy on the window. Well, I think this will do it because it's not heavy, it's very light. But I do think because we've got the large expanse of kitchen, we've got stone, we've got all lots of hard finishes, so it's important to have something with texture which is a little bit softer, a little bit more feminine. How much is the costing of this kind of stuff? For the largest panel like this, yeah. it's £100. Ah, brilliant. That's good. John is going to not have a heart attack, no, finally. No. Maybe his stress level will go down now. <laughs> Giving your windows the Kelly Hoppen treatment doesn't have to break the bank, as she's cleverly demonstrated in her own home. I think curtain design has changed over the years. You know, 20 years ago, everybody had lots more fabric, it was heavy. And I think that today, you can have a curtain that isn't lined and just very simple. When you're designing, you don't always have to use fabrics that are for the home. For example, this being carpet binding, it works really well because it's straight down the line and it just centers the windows. Then I've used a scrim, which is the fabric that you use underneath upholstery, so it's really inexpensive, so it just has a very shabby chic kind of look to it. I love playing with light, natural light. Using a fabric like this allows you to have that. The linen, it's got these tiny little slits in it, so if you get natural daylight coming in. These are great in a living room or dining room, but you don't want to use them at night in your bedroom because you're going to see through for sure. The Apple Balm's kitchen is due to be completed in four days' time, but building work has ground to a halt. The floor tiles have arrived four days late, and it seems that John's cheaper building firm have been bodging up. We're behind because of the builder. I'm feeling fed up. I'm pissed off and fed up. This here, this cable here, this is for the AV. Someone's burnt half of it out. If you come over here, you can see all right the bandaging coming through. That shouldn't be like that. Do you think the electric would allow that? This is a big heavy-duty wire. This needs to be moved up so it goes flat. You can't have it like that. To make matters worse, the new concrete floor is uneven and has to be redone before the tiles can be laid. I wish I never bothered with a kitchen. I love my old kitchen bag. Give it back to me with my broken ceiling. And John's builders aren't the only ones to have fallen out of favour. His experienced project managers are nowhere to be seen. Daddy, I was on jury service and Natasha is away till Thursday. She'll be here Thursday and Friday. I was going to open them a business, but I'm having second thoughts now. Sometimes the shop will be open, sometimes it'll be closed. Depends on what they found. Might be closed for three or four months. Just fed up with it. With so much work left to do, it's clear the Apple Balms are going to miss their deadline and that Hannah will have to wait even longer for her dream kitchen. Come on, then. So, to give her a Look taste of the lighting. finished product, Kelly has decided to treat her and John to an exclusive home visit. Hello. Oh, thanks for coming all this way. 
illumination expert Rob Clift has helped Kelly design the lighting concept for Hannah's kitchen dining space, and his house will whet her appetite for how it's going to look and feel. It's so important lighting and so many people actually don't spend the money on lighting. They think it's not worth doing and I want you to come to Rob's home and thank please let us come thank you, Rob. so you yeah, can actually see fantastic. how it's done because it's so key it will actually make or break a room. I don't know where to look first. It's all about balance isn't it? It's and all that's about balance and mood. Yeah. The key to mood lighting is layering. This room has different light levels with wall lights, spotlights and down lighters. Generally, in a house, everybody's got lamps. So this is a look. It's not a bad look. Then we press another button, and then that just highlights the artwork. We then press another button, so we're lighting the curtains. Then the fourth switch, we're just introducing some wall lights. This softly glowing room is a world away from the stark, bare bulbs in Hannah's kitchen. Kitchens are hard, hard surfaces, so you need lighting more than anything to give it that softness. It's all about being able to control the light and bring it down. It takes and get Rob the level about that you want. two hours at two night hours. to switch off all the lights. <laughs> <It does. laughs> I normally start to go to bed about 10, I normally go to bed about 1. <laughs> I want to show you something here, because this is so <clears throat> clever how you can actually light something. This is a great example of actually having a beautiful piece and then literally using a light that you would put into a floor. It looks amazing. So it's all about yeah. directing light. I tell you, in this household, you put any bag down or a coat down, it, it gets lit. lit. <laughs> <laughs> Every room needs a focal point, or what Kelly calls a star piece. And this stunning ceiling light is perfect for adding atmosphere to any eating area. The most important thing about a dining table is the lighting mm. above it. For me, it kind of draws everyone in. You're setting a scene. You then sit down, the food comes, the wine, the atmosphere, but the lighting is so key to a room. It was quite amazing, really. Each room that we went to has been glowing in a different kind of atmosphere. Mm. Everything's going to be so white in our kitchen, so I think all the different kind of glow of lighting is going to just look yeah, amazing. You'd like that, would you? Yes, I love it. Right, OK. After a two-week delay, the Apple Barms kitchen project is finally getting going. The floor has now been levelled, John has changed builders and the tiles are going down, ready for the handmade units to be fitted. Very exciting indeed, and uh, let's see what the end result is. The kitchen was due to be completed last week, so to avoid any further setbacks, Kelly has come back to Chigwell to give John and Hannah a much-needed push towards the finishing line. This kitchen is for Hannah, it's for no-one else, really, in my eyes. You know, her kids were supposed to be running this project, and I think they've lost interest in it. And on top of that, the builder has just been really messing around, so I want to go in there and see where they are. Voila! Wow. This is amazing. I mean, Hannah and I are over the moon with it. Well, wait till it's finished. Yeah. So we're getting there. A lot but of stress, we're having a lot of fun with the builders. I told you. I told you. You were right. You were right. I'm dying to get over there. So we're going to have to go oh. out and round yeah, because we can't walk on this. Yeah, because they're still wet. Uh, they were only laid a couple of hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> so well, it really is last that. minute. It is. Just look at this. It's it big! Kelly, careful with you've got heels there on my limestone oh, slab. I do not have heels on. So what do you think, Kelly? I love it. But, you know, the great thing for me is, even though I design it and it's in my mind, I still get the wow factor when you come in. Very much so. Now the units have been fitted, the gigantic worktop come breakfast bar can be ordered. But John is still trying to meddle with Kelly's design. There's nothing more frustrating than sitting on a chair or a stool and you've got somebody behind you pushing the chair to get through. And by the measurements that we've been given, 
Whoever sits at the end here, is the back's going to be against the, the radiator here. First of all, yes. your back wouldn't be where you are because it wasn't. It was going to be around here. Maybe it's my mistake. You guys are going to live in this area. If it's just the three of you or two of you, you're not going to want to sit on that so big table. how many people can we get around this breakfast bar? Let me just finish. Yeah. Five people around the breakfast bar yep. cooking, <clears throat> you know, having bits and pieces here when you've got parties this is like a bar i mean it's brilliant it's absolutely fantastic this worktop is the biggest worktop in essex Listen, Kelly, actually, do you know what i mean this Kelly, don't it's, worry it's water done and it looks fantastic every time she walks you know, past that's... you she's going to kiss you having already missed one deadline for completion hannah has now set a new one she's throwing a charity party in three weeks time so the kitchen has to be looking its best the next 10 days are crucial, and if we screw up, we're not going to have a party. So we've got to seriously be on it. You've got to get this worked up, because if that goes wrong, then we're really, really going to be late. Kelly leaves the apple balms, hoping that John will finally listen to her advice and get the worked up ordered pronto. Coming up, will Hannah finally get the kitchen of her dreams? Oh, my God! You have got it wrong. No, I haven't. Oh. <laughs> it's the final week of the Applebaum's kitchen project and there's a hive of activity in the house. The new builders are under pressure to get the job finished in time for the charity bash Hannah's hosting at the end of the week. John's finally taken delivery of the enormous bespoke worktop and the kitchen's starting to take shape. In go the essentials, frosted glass splashback and textured linen wallpaper. And the daughters have at last reappeared to lend a hand. Former project managers Natasha and Danielle are keen to defend their track record. We took on the role as project managers as such. And then I had jury service. And, and then I had some pressurised interviews to go to. And ultimately our own lives took over. So we kind of, you know, we treated it like fun. We wasn't taking it so seriously. But what we did, we did well. It works. I personally think we make a good team. Maybe we should join up with Kelly. <laughs> I'm not sure what Kelly would think about that. It's now the final day and Kelly's back. She's turfed out John and Hannah so she can oversee the final touches undisturbed. By introducing green accents which reflect the colours of nature, the space is opened up and flows seamlessly into the garden. Just three short months ago, this area was home to two old grotty sofas and a flat screen TV. Now Kelly's transformed it into a glamorous dining room with a custom-made high-gloss wooden table and three statement crystal chandeliers, sure to be the talking point of every dinner party. Here you are. Wowee! It's my kitchen. I don't know what to say. Stop. It's my house. Look at this. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. You don't have to stand on a table anymore to put a light bar. You sure? In. No. You've got three amazing lights centered over the table. Remember when I said to you I wanted something with a wow factor, yes. a really long <laughs> table. Yeah. This just looks so fabulous. And look, look at the curtains. Look. Do you remember? Oh my god. Aren't they great? They're fantastic. Their kitchen was a complete mess, with broken floor tiles, loose wires hanging from the ceiling, and a distinct lack of lighting. It's now unrecognisable, with sleek white units and a bespoke central island and breakfast bar for serious wow factor. Oh, my God! <laughs> That's amazing! Because you changed the colour of the stone, we went for the white top, and I think it looks amazing. It looks absolutely stunning. And they'll never be dining in the dark again with Kelly's layered lighting concept using feature pendant lights, down lights, and spotlights. So, do you remember my the table? Night? 
Yes, no, you no, do. No, I don't remember at all. And you kept saying to me, I yes. can't get my scrawny ass round here, and we've got tape measures and I'll be, sitting, I'll be and, sitting on the window. And I'll be sitting on the window, and you've got it wrong, and it's too long. Do you remember? Well, you have got it wrong. No, I haven't. There's too much room now. <laughs> Look oh. at the view, seriously. This is amazing. That, to me, is one of the greatest things about this you kitchen. You know what, Kelly? You really opened my house up. I feel so happy to be here. It's a happy And it's like, you're looking now. out and it's green and it's white. It's just fantastic. This is unreal, Kelly. Sheesh. Oh. <laughs> so happy I'll that you're what, happy. I tell you what, Kelly, this wouldn't have happened without you the way it is today. You really well, I'm really happy that we've done it and we got I it done it. quickly without too much stress. Indeed. I've got my dad there yeah, looking yeah. at me. For you as a mum, you've nurtured and looked after your husband, your daughters, everything in a really, really horrible space. And now you've got the dream kitchen of any person in the world, you know, and it looks I massive. It is, it's you incredible. And you Definitely. deserve it. Thank you. you so I deserve agree. it. I agree. Oh. One thing missing, where are your girls, these wonderful project managers? They're very good, aren't they? Who? The really, girls? We couldn't have managed without them. <laughs> we, we could not have managed well, without Well, clearly, I must say one thing. <laughs> Did it try? Mum, sorry, you would have been lost without us. Oh, I know. Thank you. Thank oh, you thank for the amazing, amazing kitchen. How happy are you for your mum? It looks amazing. It's so happy that she's happy. happy. Time to start cooking, Mum. <laughs> Fed up of eating out for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, well, now you appreciate your mum a little bit more. Hannah and John clearly adore their new kitchen and dining space. Which is just as well because their guests have arrived. Kelly, I'd like to make this toast for making this kitchen possible. It's absolutely superb. And Hannah and I are over the moon with it. We've got no words to say. So for once you're speechless. <laughs> for once I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I must have that <laughs> When I first came in to do this project, my heart honestly was bleeding for Hannah. And with everything that she was going through, still every day was stoic and cooked for that family. Now she can actually live her life. I don't think I've ever felt more relieved, drained, happy, every emotion all rolled into one. The kitchen looks amazing, they love it, and Hannah is just so unbelievably happy, so I'm happy. Next week, Kelly faces her toughest challenge yet, redesigning a children's bedroom. I don't like much, to be honest. I gave her the budget. I want a <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> I'm not a witch. I would have thought people would have called you a lot worse than a witch. <laughs> <laughs>